So this is a quick uh, follow-up video just to show how to save uh, animation video and to save images from your viewport. So here I have my results. This is my ODP open and I have here like uh, your typical von Mises uh, contours for, uh, for my analysis. And uh, let's start with the first thing. So if you want to save a video, well, the first thing you need to start the animation. So you have the different types of animations. So let's say that we use the typical one, uh, the time history. So you need to click on that. And now the animation is working. And then the next thing that you need to do, you need to go to animate and you need to click on save as. And then here you need to provide a name for the file. So I can call it, uh, for instance, my video. Uh, by default, it will be saved in the your work directory. If you want to ch uh, change that, then you can browse for whatever uh, folder. The format, you should keep the format as AVI, right? But you need to uh, modify something quickly here. So click on this one. Uh, here you can uh, modify the resolution of your video. So this is the default based on my current screen resolution. But if you want something higher, you can use uh, any th settings that you want. Uh, for the quality, try to increase the quality so that uh, everything will look sharp. Uh, now, this is important for the codec. Uh, this is uh, very important because sometimes if you use this Microsoft RLE, it, the video will not be working correctly. So from this drop down menu, choose Microsoft Video 1. So this is at least if you are working on a Windows machine. So choose Microsoft Windows Video 1 over here. That's it, and then you don't need to modify anything else here from the uh, over here from this modification. You can just leave it as this quality ratio as it is right now. That's all right. And then you click OK. And then these are all the options, like uh, if you have multiple viewports open. So do you want to capture the animation in all the viewports or just in the current active viewports? Right now I only have one, so it doesn't matter, but I just keep it as it is right now. So these are the things if you want to capture, if you want to capture the viewport compass, this one over here, you, so you click on this uh, checkbox. If you have any uh, background, uh, like right now, it's we have the white background. So if you have a different white background, do you want to capture this or not? So you can click on that. And uh, finally, this is the rate frame rate. So how do you set this one up? So this is very important. This relates to the final length of, the vi of your video. So right now, for instance, if you look at this um, animation that I have right now in this analysis that I did, I have a total of uh, around, uh, let's see here, around like 170 increment or 160 increment. So pretty much increments are the same as frames. So since I have, uh, let me stop it here for a second. So I have like 180 increment, right? So I have 180 increment or frames. So if I want my video at the end to be 10 seconds, so this means that you should set the rate here to 18 because if this is the frame rate and this is the total number of frame, and if each, each 18 frame take one second, then a total of 180 will take 10 seconds. So this is how you set up this rate over here. So let me play again my videos so then you just need to click ok and then i can say yes so now you see now it's writing uh, creating the video it's being saved so now uh, it says here that okay now your video has been saved well this is my work directory if i go to my work directory over here i see my video so i can just open it and you can see over here, again, this is exactly 10 seconds, the length of the video, so exactly as I required, all right? So this is to how to save the video. The second thing that you may want to do, you may want to save an image. Uh, there are a couple of ways to do that. So one way, okay, so let's say that this is the image, or maybe I want to look in the X, Y direction, I want to save something like this, or maybe like closer view, my connection so let's say something like that so i want to save this uh, well of course you can do a screen grab of your screen but this is 
which is fine, but if you want to do this from Abacus right away, there are two things. You can go to the plugins, you can go to tools, and then you can say save current viewport. If you click on that, and then you just give it a name, so my screenshot or something, or my viewport, and then if you click on save, so what will happen if you go to your uh, working directory, you will see this folder called additional images that has been created. If you click on that, you will find inside uh, the photo over here or the snapshot in .png PNG, uh, extension. So if I click on that, so here it is. Of course, right now you see the background is black because it's transparent. So this is actually a better way of uh, doing this. So if I open uh, something like PowerPoint slides, if I grab the photo over here so you see here this is my image so it has a better quality uh, and it has a, a transparent background so this is a very good uh, way of getting an image uh, another way that you can do uh, is to go to the file you go to print and then again you have the same options that you had when we saved the video uh, what do you want to capture uh, the color do you want to this uh, to be black and white, gray scale or color, whatever. And then do you want to save it as using the printer? So you just print it as a PDF pretty much. Or if you want to save it directly as a file. So if you want to save it directly as a file, again, you can give it a name. Again, it will be saved in the working directory automatically. And then you need to provide the format. So you have the PNG, you have the TIFF, so you have the EPS, so whatever the format that you want. And then you can uh, modify as well like additional options here with respect to the resolution of the photo. So if I do that and I click OK, so you see here it says this has been saved. So if I go back actually to my working directory, let me scroll. So here is my image. So if I open it, here it is. So again, the same uh, idea exactly. So you get the image over here. So this is how you do uh, videos and take images in Abacus. I'll see you in the next video.